Tony Rose Show, D93, and one of my favorite all-time TV shows, and you don't have to go long to uh, to find out how much I do love it from quoting it to talking about it, is Entourage. Hard to believe it's two decades old now, but of course, that show, to me, uh, there are characters that are identifiable, uh, the big four, and of course, Ari Gold in there as well, but one of them, of course, is Turtle, Jerry Ferrara, brand new podcast as well called Throwbacks with a pretty good football player in his day as well named Matt Liner. Jerry Ferrara with us right now. Talking throwbacks. What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Uh, I'm doing good, Tony. Thanks for having me. And yeah, t- you can't believe it's been two decades. Imagine how uh, I feel when I, I like look at my nephew and I'm like, wow, when I was your age, I, Entourage was just started. So yeah, super weird for me too, but uh, here we are. It's hard to believe every single episode of that show delivered. Every single one of them. Every storyline was clutch. Everything about it uh, was amazing. Uh, did you guys know when you started doing that show to where it ended up at? Did you know you were part of something special on that very first episode when you guys kind of do the walk by with Marky Mark and everybody like that to where you guys ended up at? You know, did you know? It, it, it's hard in the beginning, especially for me, because I was sort I was sort of the rookie. You know, I was the youngest cast member. I was the most inexperienced cast member for sure. You know, you right. got. Jeremy Piven and Kevin Dillon and Kevin Conley, like, you know, those guys have been doing it for a very long time. I did not know. I was I was more nervous back then of, I hope this can last because this is too much fun right. and this is what I've been chasing. But it probably was around season two. And after you really start to figure out when you're doing a TV show, it's almost even like a sports team in a way. You're really starting to figure out who these characters are, what this show is. But I started to feel like, oh, okay, this is getting pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I did not know that you know I'd still twenty years later right. be talking about it and people wanting reboots and we did a movie. <laughs> no, I did not know it was going to lead to to all it's done and all the opportunity it's led to for me. But uh, it was a lot of fun, Tony. We re- we really enjoyed every single minute of doing. It. I think maybe that's why the episodes. Even if it wasn't your favorite storyline, I think you still felt like we were having a good time, and yeah. I think audiences responded to that. And I think every guy, every guy wanted to be part of that group, man. Every guy wanted to be hanging with Turtle and with with you know and with E and and everybody, Johnny Drama, everybody. We wanted to be part of that, man. I mean, I think you guys made it where it's like everybody, every viewer at home felt like they were just part of the clique with you guys going through everything. Um, do you remember a star like when you guys were on there, like where you were starstruck when they showed up on set to do a cameo? on the show? Yeah, so for me, it was always really cool when we had other actors on over the years. Like, you know, we had Matt Damon on. That was really cool. And, you know, it was really cool when we had James Cameron on, like the James Cameron, one of the most, if not prolific, directors of all time. That was kind of mind-blowing. Like, just the guy behind Terminator and Alien and (laughs) Avatar. Like, he was just starting to get ready to shoot the first avatar. He was showing us, like, drawings, and we were like, who are these blue characters? He was explaining it to us. <laughs> we were like, oh, yeah, it should probably be great, and cut to all these years later. Yeah. But for me, I always, you know, because I'm such a sports, you know, fanatic, I loved when we had the athletes on. Like, we had yeah. LeBron James. Obviously, the Tom Brady episode, people <laughs> point to that one over and over, and I get it. And it was really, really cool to have Brady on. We really had, I don't know what it is with that show, Tony, but people, athletes particularly, more so than even actors, athletes really took to what yeah. we were trying to do or what we were about. You know, and that's the thing you talk about, Brady. Uh, your relationship with Tom Brady on that show started very rocky, but it ended up okay uh, as we got into it. Uh, but that kind of is a great segue, too, to what you guys are doing now. Another pretty daggum legendary quarterback and a legendary sports name as well, Matt Liner. You're teaming up with him. Uh, how did your relationship with Matt start? The new podcast, of course, Throwbacks, is launching here in just a couple of days. Uh, perfect for the opening week of NFL football. Uh, how did that relationship start? <clears throat> You know, there's so much overlap, too, with him and I. Now that you're even talking about, you know, doing Entourage and and those lifelong friendships, like Matt, you know, I was in L.A. starting Entourage 20 years ago. Matt was winning the Heisman Award for USC. Easily could have been a cameo on Entourage back then, even though he was a college kid, you know. So we were running around L.A. in a lot of the same places, and we actually didn't know each other. Our circles didn't really cross, but they easily could have. And now you cut to 20 years later when we were getting ready to do this podcast, and we were talking about names for a potential co-host, and Matt's name came up. And it just so happened I just started following him on Instagram where he's doing like amazing dad content. He has two kids the same age as I do and he's yeah. a big family guy. So I'm watching his feed for that 
But then I'm thinking, wow, like if Matt and I sit down and talk sports from our completely different point of views of life, but also like with all the overlap we have, I, I think it's hard to make friends when you become an adult, certainly yeah. when you start to have a family. And I, I think what people might enjoy is that you're listening to us become really good friends in real time. Like I don't know everything about Matt. Right. And he doesn't know everything about me. And it's all sort of unfolding on the show, in addition to just everything that goes on in the sports world, every day there's a crazy story happening. That's uh, and again, you know, perfect timing too with the season starting here, uh, with the NFL season, and of course, uh, yeah, Matt is great. I mean, like just content wise, yeah, you know, on Instagram and everything that goes with it. He's very funny, very and insightful too. But a good, yeah, both of you guys very grounded now as you kind of get into the into the fatherhood years. I'm excited for this, uh, the new podcast throwbacks. Where where is it at? Where can we listen to it? I know it launches on the fifth. Kind of walk us through these first couple of episodes and what we're looking at. Yeah, it launches this Thursday on the 5th. It'll be there right in the morning. Uh, so however you like to consume, for me, I, I, I kind of bounce back and forth between Apple and Spotify. But whether it's Apple, Spotify, or, you know, if you like to watch, it's going to be on YouTube. A lot of people now yeah. are watching podcasts. And yeah. this way, I think it's a more intimate experience sometimes. So, yeah, it's either Apple, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you like to get that stuff. We'll be there every Thursday morning for you. We have a great guest lined up for this first show on September 5th. They asked me not to reveal. All right. It's, it's kind of hard for me because I'm the guy. You don't want to <laughs> tell me, like, uh, what the big surprise is because I just have to tell someone. But I'm not going to do it today, even though I'd love to do it on your show. We have a really good guest coming uh, this Thursday. And it's going to be a good conversation and a good hang. Man, Jerry, thank you so much. Uh, hopefully an Entourage reboot someday soon. I would love to see it, uh, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. And I wish you nothing but the best of luck with uh, with Matt on this new podcast. Thank you for Entourage. Thank you for all the, the great stuff you've brought us and continue to bring us. It's a real pleasure catching up, man. I'm a big fan. And best of luck to you and your family. Well, Tony, thank you for having me on to talk about this. And I, ho- I hope as we get further into the sports season, maybe come back on and uh, chop it up again. But I appreciate you, Tony. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Have a great day.